Hello again, everybody. Hello, everyone. It's been a very long time, and I've forgotten some of the controls, but we're back to challenge one of my favorite parts of the game. And definitely one of the most important and memorable experiences of Hjalti's life. He, of course, is a very pious man, and has always you know, heard legends about Salvengard, and always dreamed that he would probably go there himself one day if he was great enough. I also just think this is one of the, my favorite parts of any kind of video game I've ever played, really. I think the scenery is just majestic and wonderful, and I am a sucker for games that have their main menu music play at some dramatic point during the game, as it is now with this special version of the Dragonborn song. So, love this place. Now you can see Elden has put this choking mist up that traps all these souls around here. So I'm going to use Clear Skies, which I don't think actually dispels it, let's see. Oh, it dispels it locally. Not bad. And what do I have equipped for... Ah, Aura Whisper. I probably want to make that detect life here. I think that works in the souls that are here. Hey, I love the music's play. Turn back, Traveler. Terror waits within this mist. Many have braved the shadow veil. But vain is all courage against the peril. Yeah, other ones, of course, is invincible for them. Sovngood, of course, normally does have some mist from some descriptions we've heard, but this is clearly not, uh, you know, normal mist of Sovngood. This is all the one trapping people here. And Charles, of course, is absolutely infuriated by this. This is the greatest imaginable sacrilege to be eating the souls of like, the heroic dead who the gods are trying to welcome to their deserved paradise. Hjalti, of course, knows that Shores Hall is the whole point of Sovngarde. Everyone here talks very poetically for some reason. Shores Hall, shimmering across the clouded veil, but quenched was hope by the shrouding mist. My mind is darkened. I've lost the way and wander blindly. You can't really do a thing for these people, Hurry, unfortunately. Before Alduin your life devours, bring word to Shores Hall of our hard fate. You can tell him to follow you, but as far as I can tell, there's nobody getting to follow you far. I've only done this once before, though, so maybe there's some way I'm not aware of. Yeah, okay. So where's Clear Skies? There's Clear Skies. Alright, the way is clear. A chunk of it, at least. Let me make sure I've got Amulet of Talos on, and Morokai, so I can shout at maximum efficiency. That is a nicely short cooldown, if I do say so. Hjalti would love to challenge Alduin himself right now. Did Alduin just snatch him? Shut up about that. There's the hall. Look, it's a clear path. It's a it's a clear. See. No. <laughs> there is no escape. Maybe you can just kind of fusro da him over there. Maybe. Alright, you know what's better? I'm just gonna like, you know, save everybody by getting through this beautiful place really fast and killing all the wind there. There are a few interesting souls in here, I think. Besides various Imperials and Stormcloaks, there are a few actual characters, I think. And Alden's too much of a coward to actually fight you. He will fly by and eat people. I think you can find a few interesting souls here if you kill interesting people or if they've died due to quests. But I don't remember exactly where. There is Courage is useless. Didn't I see a soul over it? There it is. Let's see what this is. One thing that I love about this section of the game, not uh, just another storm book, they all do have different dialogue at least. Besides the beautiful surroundings and so forth, it's one of the few parts of the game that really feels like it's responsive to your play in the world, because you'll meet a lot of people who you've you know, seen killed throughout the quests in here in the hall if you can get there. But here of course is the famous guardian of the hall. Shore's gift to honor dead. Well, Helti, of course, knows who the legendary Tsun is. He's one of the fellow gods of Shore who is one of his guardians. A 
faithful errand. No few have chafed. If everybody in Skyrim talked like this, or if everybody at least from the past in Skyrim talked like this, I would think it was fine and good and added some flavor to the game. But to have everybody in Sovngarde, even if they were just in Skyrim talking normally five minutes ago, talk like this is very strange. Sure, unfortunately, can never be seen here. Kelty will presume that he's just not worthy to see him. He's very ashamed to come before the gods here as a vampire. Living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? You can make choices here, and he'll approve or disapprove, depending. If you're like you know a thief or something like that, he'll disapprove of you. This is definitely something Kelty would choose. He would never respect someone one day that just claims to be born to greatness. Well met. The Nords may have forgotten her forefathers' respect for the clever crack, but her comrades thronged this hall. Now, you still need to fight him, which is a traditional thing that's been Heroes talked about whenever there's legends about Sovngarde in all the previous games. Living or dead. But, uh, very important, he, and only he in this entire game, for some random reason, is impervious to Fushroda and normal stunts. A nasty instant kill gotcha moment, if you don't know that. Kyoti is not going to profane this most holy place by summoning Daedra here, so it's just me and soon. I don't like that he's that close behind me, because he could definitely instant kill me, and that would be a sad end to such a long quest. At least he can't ragdoll me with that. Missed me. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay. I really ought to watch where I'm going. <laughs> Where is he? In this mist. There you are. Not the most dignified way to get an entrance here, but <laughs> I can't. He will instant kill me. I can't possibly beat him. In, oh! Straight fight. So. So this is the way it's gotta be. Maybe you can just make a run for the bridge. If you do that, then um, you get struck by lightning. It's pretty sweet. Oh, nice. <laughs> Except it's kind of odd for the gods to, you know, kill you when you're here to save everyone from Alduin. But you know, rules are the rules. No exceptions. <laughs> run, 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 run. Where's my stamina bar? Oh, there it is. Oh, do you not run enough stamina? Whoa! He was apparently very fast. Not quite an instant kill. Yes. Probably would have been if he used his most powerful spell. How in the world did he get behind me? He must be like inhumanly fast. I mean, you did say something about him being a god, right? He is a god. Can he heal? Uh, I don't think so. So I am going to win this eventually. Oh, did he dodge me? Oh, he oh okay. No, I guess I don't have to kill him. I find you Great. <laughs> he is really tall. Come to think of it, that explains why he's so fast, too. Because if you have a height multiplier in this game, it also multiplies your speed. Of course, even giants and other huge things aren't immune to Fushroda. That's just a nasty gotcha that's unique to him. If I didn't know that, that would have been the end of the Let's Play right there. Oh, yeah, here's someone I was looking for. Why do you talk like this now? That's a perfectly reasonable regret. I faced him fearlessly. My fate inescapable, yet my honor is unstained. Can Ulfric say if you kill Ulfric already in the Civil War, he'll be inside, and apparently, yes. Beware. The world eater waits within the yeah, I'd love to rescue you, but I think you're probably too dumb to follow me. Sadly. So I'll just have to get in there and find out what to do to get rid of Alduin and spare these lost souls. This injustice cannot stand. We'll see about that. Cleverness probably will prevail. Alright, so you can get across the amazing Whalebone Bridge that is also very cool and also was mentioned in all previous Elder Scrolls games that mentioned Sovngarde. And Kelty is also elated to find out the concrete, indisputable proof that Sovngarde totally is real and all the elves who ever denied it were complete idiots. <laughs> as he knew. <laughs> and sure really is a benevolent god who really did create a paradise for worthy people, not the demon the elves claim he is. 
Shalti, of course, has always venerated Shor all his life above the other gods as the patron of humankind. So, this is the best moment of his life, although he is ashamed to be coming here as a vampire. I'll take off that, at least. And this vampire relic, too. Do vampires go to Sovngarde? That's a good question. A lot of people seem to assume that they go to Cold Harbor, the hellish realm of their creator Molag Bal, but I'm not actually aware of any evidence whatsoever to support that. And here's Isgrimor himself. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades. Inventured not. And of course, this is all based on you know, Valhalla, with you know, constant feasting and drinking and partying and fighting. These, of course, were Parthenax's ancient friends who he described as being some of the greatest heroes of the Nords of all time, and who we saw fight Alduin in the past. Hjalti would like to ask for an autograph. <laughs> Pretty much everybody's here, actually. Alright, let's talk to everybody. Far you've traveled, your trials long, to taste and the southern guard's sweet delight. Yes, he will definitely be eating here. And trade tales of our time on Monday. Are you sure it's sweet not? roll! <laughs> yes! They have sweet rolls in heaven. This is great. Are you sure you don't get stuck if you eat their food like the fairy realm? Admittedly I'm not sure, but being trapped in heaven doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> The sweet rolls in Sovngarde are the best sweet rolls. Mm -hmm. They'll never compare back um, in Skyrim. I need to find some actual local mead here. Where is the mead? There must be mead here. Maybe they drank it all. song unending? Fighting, drinking, fellowship, and boasting? Find welcome here and warm your soul. I long to fight that foul. Sadly, we can't find Shor. Ah, oh, here's Jurgen Windcaller himself, the one who ruined everything. The way of the voice. No gloom can hold my heart for long in Shor's, but if you stray from wisdom, to sovereign God, you will not return. Fate drives you, but you follow your own path. Choose wisely. Yes, he's taking that to heart. Fate drives you. But you follow command, now where's that mead? <laughs> Apple pie? Yes. Slaughterfish? Sweet. Roasted ox head? I don't even know. Ah, wine. That'll do. I was hoping for some Nord mead, but that will work. I'm taking all the pies. Chelsea's always loved sweets. There's more wine. Well, ah, this is Olaf One Eye, with two, uh, maybe one kind of damage. The one on the left is messed up. Yeah, I guess. He, of course, is the great hero who imprisoned the dragon Numenex within White Run. Stories in Solitude paint him as a cruel tyrant instead, but the fact that he's here suggests that the gods really do approve of his conduct. So probably wasn't actually a villain. For some crazy reason, even though he's up here, you can also fight his undead form back in Skyrim as part of the Bard's quest line. Several bards apparently believe that there are actually two Olafs, which would explain it, except that if you do that quest, then the Olaf up here in Stavangard confirms that there really is just one. So, who knows? I don't know who Nicholas is. Actually, yes, I think I do. I think he was a guy from Morrowind's Blood Moon expansion. There's like a bunch of guys trying to go to Stavangard there. Which is, again, a very cool callback. Yeah, I think these guys are from Morrowind, too. Wow, another Dragonborn. Amazing. This looks like a good place to find some meat. Yes. Dragonborn, have you come to cleanse Sovereign Guard at long last of Alduin's foul mist? He's gonna be drinking this holy wine as long as he can. You this is an amazing amount of mead. <laughs> now where did the other guy go? There he is. Who's this mage? No gloom can 
Well, it's just good to have a... Wait, what are they... Oh, I must have accidentally started it somehow. Uh-oh. Can you talk to him still? Ah, uh, drought. I guess I must have missed their dialogue somehow. But I can run out with them and we all just fight Alduin together, basically. And if he was easy to beat before, which he kind of was with some tactics, he's definitely easy to beat now. We saw these guys fighting him before. Alduin escaped us long ago. Today we take our well-tempered The endless wait, way to battle. Alduin's doom. His death or ours. Yep. Alright, back over the whalebone bridge, which seems uh, like a hard thing to sprint over, but whatever. Anything else to say? Sadly, soon doesn't help. Where's the other one? He's catching up. I think we all need to shout together to clear the mist, which is great. For a hundred lifetimes. It's kind of sad that this is not really a great climactic boss battle, but it is still like an amazing setting. It's basically unheard of in this series to go to a realm of Aetherius like this. I mean, you kind of did at the end of Daggerfall, but that hardly really even counts. It was nothing like this. So, a very cool end to the campaign here. Oh, I guess I need to time it with them. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Hey guys. Not joining in. For a hundred lives, well tempered revenge. His death or ours. I'll do it. Look! Yes, let's shout. Are you supposed to shout into the mist rather than up? For a hundred I don't know. I thought we all had to shout together. But I haven't done this in like years. Well, let's equip this quest if I don't have it already. Okay. What a coward. Yep. Can we do it? Everybody? Alright, what does the quest say to do? Help them dispel it. Great. Does the direction of your shout matter? I don't think so. Yes. Let's do it. There they go. I think we have to do it like one more time, but maybe not. Okay, so that's all I'm putting it back because he's complete wuss. For a hundred lives, my heart is locked. Oh, just saying again. There we go. <laughs> Better late than never. Mm -hmm. Again? Okay. I'm gonna put on my Ring of the Erudite for this. And I might even put on more, okay. It is Alduin after all. And my Dwarf Boots of Fire Suppression sound good. <laughs> Do I have any kind of other thing to resist him? Don't think so. It's been a while since I played, I've kind of forgotten some of my gear. I think just the last time we'll get rid of it, probably. Well, Kjalti is positively giddy to be here with all these great heroes of the ancient past. Is our struggle in vain? Stand fast! His strength is failing! Once more and his might... Why? We can just shout forever. I guess he's just worse than us. We are Nords. And a half-Nord. Alright, where is he? I should probably quit become ethereal. Very important shout. Yes, actually, I should probably switch to my ice spikes for this guy. I'd rather use fire on him, but he does resist, of course. Oh. Alduin, face us! Oh, he's doing his meteor rain thing from a clear sky somehow. Well, um. I guess I can clear that with this. Right, that should cancel out his meteors for a little bit. Psh, not afraid of you, Alduin. Look at that fairly any fire damage you did to me. Alright, now if we can just get him to land, I should do Dragon Rend on him. Get over here, you. Oh, up there. Can I get him over there? I'm not sure how long the range on Dragon Rend is. I don't have it hotkey, do I? 
Magic shouts, dragon rend. Did I hit him? I think I hit him. Yeah. Now get down here so I can kill you. Oh, he did his meteor rain again. You didn't really defeat them, they actually defeated you, and that's why you're here. You got to get back in the time. You can't change the story, man. We know, we know what happened. Alright, everybody, chop them real hard. And really slowly for a long time. Only soon we join in. Aldrin hasn't asked to cross the bridge. Yeah! <laughs> I guess let's kind of keep him down here and. How long does Dragon Rend last again? Uh, a longer time than its cooldown while I'm wearing all these power ups. All of them have various cool lines here you can taunt you with, like if you're wearing like Daedric Armor, like even the Daedric Fear, I mean, things like that. Oh, that's cool. But I'm just gonna stand back here and just blast away at him. And we'll get him eventually. It's gonna be better than it was when I was just fighting him with Parthenax, at least. You know what I should do? I should eat some Ellsworth Fondue here. Yeah, that's more like it. Your meteors barely hurt all the way. That has a really short cooldown. Well, I am wearing things that make my cooldown be reduced by 60% or so. So. Nice. Yeah. Once again, the fact that this is just kind of a typical dragon fight other than the weak meteors does a little bit detract from what could otherwise be a really, truly epic conclusion to a wonderful game that I quite enjoy. But, you know, good setting does count for something. And it wouldn't be this tedious if it wasn't legendary. We would have killed him twice over already. Any other ways to boost my magic cover? I don't think so. Oh, nope. Get back down here. I could at least pull my staff out, I guess. Okay. Switch to Ice Spike on both hands. Sure, indeed. Let me tell something. Yep. Oh, I hit soon, actually. Sorry, man. Hope it's not too soon for us to be fighting again. So soon was resistant to more than one shout. Yes, but I think all non-dragons resist dragon run. <laughs> Alright, I think we've actually nailed him down now. So I don't need to use dragon run anymore. I'll use just whatever I feel like. Pull this out and get some magic back. Maybe I'll use... Drain oh, Vitality! I wonder if this works. Ooh. Oh, I did use all three words. Probably doesn't work. Actually, no. Oops. Well, it probably doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But it did put my cooldown back all the way. So. Uh... Don't care about your meteors. I think these guys are unkillable here, I'm not sure. Oh, but they are already dead. Yes. I'm taking a bunch of damage because I just getting hit by meteor after meteor somehow. But that's okay. I was finally putting up a fight. A little. Alright. I guess he's unstunnable. You know, it's okay. He is a final boss. Alright. It is imperative that I get the final 
hit here. I am almost dead. Well, half dead. But it should be okay. Can I just, like, cast this at him? Yes. Sweet. But you're griping. So, cool death animation. I'd forgotten about that. But sadly, you don't get to grab his soul. Shelf is really looking forward to. Sorry. He's going to use it to learn like, a particularly worthless shout, probably. <laughs> Maybe the one that lets you like taunt people and like sh yell insults. That'd be a great one to spend his soul on. Even here, where heroes strong, few can match this mighty deed. What glory! The gods themselves must envy us this well earned. We can rub it in their faces because they're right here. <laughs> You have completed your car. I'll look for you, friend. When at last you return to Shaw's Hall. The honor will oh, soon as time. When you rejoin the ranks of the All, All hail, hail the, the Dragonborn! Hail, hail him with, with great grace! Do you have to go back to Skyrim? Not yet. Our ancient Do you have anything else to say? Even no. here, where heroes strong. I'll look for you, friend. Alright, let's go back in there. Chat with everybody. It would be a shame if I fell off this bridge now. <laughs> Don't say it. Ooh, apparently, my battery's running low. We must not have plugged it in correctly. Oh. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Did the. Oh, I can't go back in! No! no! I'm glad I grabbed all the food in there. Can you pickpocket? <laughs> Uh, Yothi's not gonna risk it. He'll get back here in due time. If you jump off that bridge... He had been thinking of, you know, being a vampire forever, but he's not gonna do that anymore. Now that he knows this place is definitely real for sure. Hmm. When you're ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so. He's gonna take that as a suggestion in a couple of different ways. Return now to now. Don't wanna go rescue some souls? I think they should be fine now. To bring a hero from in your hour of need. So you get a special new shout that lets you summon one of those three guys. None of whom are that useful, but it is cool. Do you get to choose who? Yes. If you speak different numbers of words, it chooses which one. Ah. Uh. I forget which one is which, doesn't really matter. Alright, well, this concludes the most important moment of Shalti's life. I think a long time to think about this. Various dragons are here to celebrate Alderman's downfall. And there's Parthenax. Who just attacked them? Something about a victor. I think. I could kill them all. But I'll let them go for now. They learned their lesson, maybe. The dragons never really liked Alduin anyway, he was just kind of a cowardly bully who lost their respect. So. Now clear off my mountain. I think I can roughly translate what they're saying. I think that they say Alduin has fallen, uh, his thum is silenced, the Dragonborn is his dragon slayer. And we owe him no allegiance now? Something like that. I don't really recognize all the words, but the ones that I do recognize and the context fit that interpretation. Alright, Parthenax. So, it is done. Alduin, Dilon. The eldest is no more. He who came before all others and has always been. Indeed, Alduin Wachlan Dani. His doom was written when he claimed for himself the lordship that proper
rightfully belong to Bormahu, our father Akatosh. Darn right. <laughs> but I can sacrilegious deeds were rightly punished by beating him to death with like four guys and my ice spikes. <laughs> he was my brother once. This world will never yeah, be. Yeah, it's gonna be better. No, oh, I get to actually say so. <laughs> At least it will continue to exist. And as you told me once, the next world will have to take care of itself. Fool me, loss. Even I cannot see past time's ending. But I forget myself. Croesus. Solos Midfadon. Melancholy is an easy trap for a Dova to fall into. You have won a mighty victory. Sahroch Kondrach. One that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovatin. This is not the last of what you will write upon the current. No, this is just the beginning, in fact. I feel younger than I Many of the are now scattered across Kizal. Without Alduin's lordship, they may yet bow to the Vazen, brightness of my food. Maybe the blades are right to not trust him. They will hear it. Fare thee well, Dovatin. will think about this. But time to walk down his mountain and talk with the Greybeards. Alright. Hopefully it won't be quite as many months until the next one, but we'll see. Things are busy these days. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day.